Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As dedicated free to play player who played this game for more than 400 days, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today we are going to speak about Archer uh, Archer state in Season of Stripe without long range warfare, simply because we know that in next season in Season of Stripe there won't gonna be long range warfare, which means archers are not going to have same amount of range as mages um, as an archer main from the day one i have played with archers even without long range warfare first couple of seasons and then i have played with long range warfare and i need to say that the difference is huge uh whole gameplay changes with the long range warfare and without right so i can give you guys tips and tricks how you can generally can play with archers even without long range warfare and how it will affect the whole gameplay first of all what does no what does it mean that you won't gonna have same range as mages it means that you won't gonna be able to move forward you won't gonna be able to stand still simply because you will get targeted by the mages and you will be easily targeted by many different legion types and you will, you are going to die pretty fast and well it's well known that if you want to get merits and if you want to be a successful fighter in this game your maximum uh, like gameplay should be to stay alive longer as much as possible um, so generally not having same range as mages it affects your whole fighting gameplay as a marksman right you want them gonna be able to stand still and uh, use your range because your range is never enough so you, you won't gonna have mages as your targets anymore right because they have way more than you in terms of range so you have a different targets and unfortunately uh, in before long range warfare for archers uh, archers main target was infantry and cavalry uh, simply because that was the main legion types where archers could free hit without moving forward it's pretty good that they are adding additional march speed for archers it will help us a lot but still i don't think that the additional march speed will be enough for us to be able to be more offensive type of uh, legion type right um, archers without long range warfare is more defensive you should prioritize standing on a way uh, where enemies moving forward towards you not you attacking them right because whenever you had long range warfare you were more a offensive type of uh, troop type because you wanted to hit the uh, mages more than ever right but when without long range warfare it will be so hard that it's even considered risky uh, to go for mages right uh, so your like infantry flying cavalry cavalry should be the main targets for archers without long range warfare of course if mages are going to uh, overstep and move forward you can actually hit it but generally it won't gonna be the case if you are fighting with the uh, players who has uh, some experience in fighting right because uh, mages will have almost two weeks your range and it will be uh, really really hard for you to move forward to attack one mage legion simply because after that um, many mage legions are going to hit you right and you can see for the mage legions attack range is very far and uh, for the marksman is medium it's not even far right like it's kind of tweaks so like whole gameplay changes and well it will be kind of hard for archers to fight in um, big wars because your main target should be the infantry because infantry is one of the most one of the most crucial legion type in the game and already a lot of alliances are having infantry legions um, like a lot right and that's how they are winning uh, in terms of gameplay of the war so uh, that should be the main change in terms of uh, archers without long range warfare which will be really really effective in my opinion uh, and it will change people's gameplay a lot right if you have if you have been the archer main with long range warfare and you have fought with like four uh, three five archer legions then i think you should change up and you should add up something new right i would not recommend to go three or four to five archer legions at once uh like maybe two archer legions should be uh, totally fine because uh, you have already invested a lot of legendary tokens in your archer heroes and of course you want to use them right so next for the next season my advice would be 
to have like at least two archer legions and at least two mage legions because mages are coming back in my opinion uh, they will be same strong as they were from the season one to season two uh, for like at least one year right like six months being for the long range warfare and archers and before it was all about mages so i think something like that should be coming back uh, that's why i would not recommend to run many uh, archer legions just mix it up uh, if you have at least two or at least one mage legion ready uh, it will be totally fine to use in the season of strife because um, i think for especially for to play players uh, range is important not only for getting merits but even be even even why because uh, you want to have fun in call of dragons you want to enjoy wars and uh, yeah i have i have had my own experience fighting as a free-to-play player without long-range warfare and it was always painful because range was never enough and i was always getting targeted by the mage players that's you are going to be their main target because that's how they are going to uh have their gameplay set up uh, in simply because they are having the highest amount of range in any legions right that's why i think uh, the meta archer hero pairs should be changing in season of stripe uh, something old school is going to come back and become popular in my opinion and i have my own ideas how this will going to look right um, like for example in the last season in sob 2 almost every single archer was used because more archers you had it was much much better for your merit score and for your gameplay because you had same range as mages but in season of stripe it might change uh, for example because you are not the longest range legion type anymore i think uh, hosk and kinara will come back as one of the most popular um for our gameplay hero pairs because of the tankiness and counter-attack damage which is always great for uh, hosuke and kinara uh, in last seasons you had two legion types which could attack uh, hosuke and kinara which is marksman and mages and next season they will have only one which will make uh, them even more tankier because it will be harder for people to take down uh, the host and Kinaras simply because you are just too tanky you are dealing a lot of counter attack damage especially if you are tier 5 player right uh, for free to play players I think Nico and Kinara will be pretty good um, as I have mentioned uh, you are going to deal damage to a lot of infantry players and reducing the defense break and reducing the armor of the infantry is always great in my opinion and I, I generally really like the skill damage factor physical skill damage factor with defense break synergy uh, against infantry players i think it's a good way of fighting against infantry uh, i think nico and kinara was totally fine uh, even with long range warfare but uh, without it i think uh, when you have to attack a lot more infantry players uh, defense break synergy with nico with kinara with the awakening skill uh, with uh, of course snow peak rock snow peak rock, rock has defense break synergy plus you are having uh, rattle spear and rattle spear has defense penetration well i think uh nico and kinara mainly for free to play players should be a good choice uh, uh, as an attacker for infantry against infantry players and of course uh, Magrot and Zyda simply because they will be able to stay alive longer because of the healing even without uh, same range as mages they will still be effective I'm not sure about Syndrome and Fregar unfortunately um, I think uh, the crit normal attackers need way more time and more range in order to be effective and I don't think Kindron and Fregar will be as effective as it was before, right? Uh, simply because uh, crits and normal attacks are not the main way of uh, uh, dealing damage to infantry. You kind of prefer more skill damage factor because uh, infantry has way more armor than anything else, right? And HP. So I think the top 1 and top 2 best in uh, Archer uh, hero pair in Season of Stripe will be Hosk and uh, Ginara because of the tankiness and so on and the second one if maybe this one will change a lot like top one and top two will be Magrot and Zyda that's uh, in my opinion two best season of stripe archers without long range warfare and I am kind of will already having flashbacks of season one and season two how hard it was for me to fight 
against tier 5 players without long range warfare but I think uh, this uh, season uh, will be even much better because I have uh, gained more power and we like many different players are gaining more and more research done in terms of art marksmen but yeah still range is important um, simply because last season we were having mainly fights against mages and well it's generally really easy to understand that archers are dealing more damage to mages than anything else so that's why i think uh, these two hero pair one for tankiness and counter attack damage a uh, second one for healing and stay for tankiness also right because i think magrot and azida is pretty tanky so much shield they are getting with sand lizard of course and preferably if you have guided bow will be much much better it's like the general idea how i think will um archers gameplay look without long range warfare and for myself i have uh, kind of strange um hero pairs prepared for season of stripe my first hero pair is uh, my nico and kinara um, simply because as i have mentioned it's more of a free to play friendly infantry hitter uh, second one should be uh, Magrot and Zaida. If I will get lucky and get uh, Magrot from the lucky from the Wheel of Destiny, and after that I have two mages, Walder and Welin, still one of my favorite mage hero pair, and second mage hero pair, which is um, my Bertrand and Tohar. That's the heroes I got from the last lucky spin, and I'm trying my best to level up the first key skill of the Tohar because. Well, it's well known that first skill is the main skill and you have to kind of have it on level 5 and after that try to unlock the other skills. That's my four fighting legions, as I like as I have mentioned before, uh, for free to play players, uh, range units are more familiar and more uh, fun in my opinion, rather than infantry and cavalry. Of course, simply because I'm having, I'm playing with the uh, Wilderberg, I'm using my Craig and Thea for Wyverns, because why not? So I kind of have three um, Archer Legions and two Mages prepared for Season of Stripe. Uh, and I think I will be mainly using my Mages, unfortunately. Because that's how I was playing without uh, Long Range Warfare before. My main um, source of merits was my Walder and Welling. And I think in next season, uh, Bertrand and Tohar will be added, right? Because of the no long range warfare. I think more safe gameplay for free to play players will be to just continue playing with mages. That's how it was done before, right? Why Walder and Welling? Well, Walder, I like the Strainer by Legion's attack uh, with the Awakening skill, and I'm pretty sure everybody already has Walder Awakened. Welling, Welling is generally great mage, legendary mage hero, which you can get tokens from the gold keys. And Bretrand and Tohar, I got them from the Wheel of Destiny, was aiming for Magrot and Zaida, and um, instead of Magrot, I got Tohar. And I think Bertrand and Tokar is quite good single target damage dealer mage hero pair. Of course, you can always run uh, Bertrand with Tia, uh, but um, if, in my case, as a Wilderberg player, I will be using Craig and Thea and Bertrand and Tohar. If you are a League of Order player and you want to play with uh, uh, Bertrand, of course, uh, you are going to go more of a Bertrand and Thea because of the Celestials and you will be flying um, synergy with uh, Thea's gameplay and Thea's like second skill uh, or third skill with the flying units, right? That's my future plans in terms of PvP uh, and that's my idea how long range warfare is going to affect uh, the gameplay. And also we need to mention that uh, finally uh, uh, no longer... No, no long range warfare means that we are going to be hitting with artifacts, right? Uh, when we, whenever we had long range warfare, we had so much range that uh, like artifacts uh, was kind of useless. The skills of the artifacts, which means some of the artifacts are coming back, uh, which is quite important, right? Uh, for example, shadow blades will be quite good because we're gonna have enough range for us to use shadow blades all the time. Uh, which is important also like any offensive artifact uh, will be even better in season of uh, stripe 
uh, simply because like whenever you are you were having long range warfare even heart of kamasi sometimes uh, looked much better than offensive skill artifact for for so in my opinion artifacts such as shadow blades artifacts such as uh, for example um, like guided bow um, gold crest will be important because you will be able to use those artifacts in a uh, most valuable way in more frequently rather than just spamming heart of kamasi because you don't have enough range because of long range warfare and you 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 will just hit one person right so that's how i think all the artifact gameplay and ar ar archers gameplay will change uh, more offensive skill offensive artifacts will come back to the game into the meta and uh, more of a uh, melee fights will be um, archers main source of merits right more infantry more cavalry because it will be hard for us to deal damage to mages and that's my opinion about archers uh, in season of stripe without long range warfare now, i hope you guys liked the video if you did press like subscribe share it always gives me more and more motivation to make more content for this amazing game um, I wish everybody amazing day, morning and night, wherever you are. We are going to see each other very, very soon. Bye-bye and good luck.